Hey Taurus Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is Angel. We are going to do a you versus them reading for you guys for um, the month of March. We're going to see what is happening for you and your person in March with regard to love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Come in, sit, and um, let's see if we have any messages for you guys. Take only what resonates with you, and we're going to see if we can help you maneuver through what's going on with you in love for the month of March. Spirit, show me Taurus's energy with regard to this connection that they're watching this reading for, for the month of March. Effort, card number 13. Aries just got this uh, card as well in their position. So if you're dealing with an Aries, you may wanna watch that reading. Card number 13 breaks down to a four. Spirit is saying there's gonna be a lot of effort that you're going to need to put into this connection in order to get this connection back on um, the right path to move it forward. Um, so there may be some difficulty that you guys are facing um, with regard to this connection and it is going to take a lot of effort from you in order to balance this situation out. Show me more. Um, intuition. Aries got the same card as well. Card number 22. Um, this is going to be um, card number four. Um, so it looks like Spirit is saying your intuition is going to be your guide on this situation. You guys, definitely, if you're dealing with an Aries, needs to go and watch the Aries reading because there was a lot of information there. Um, in that reading, someone was going through a rebirth um, and it changed the dynamic of that connection. So show me what is happening for the person that Taurus is watching this reading for. Your intuition is going to be at an all-time high um, right now, Taurus, with regard to this connection. Um, financial discipline. So it looks like your person is being forced to have to understand financially um, that they need to be more responsible. Um, their financial um, situation in this connection may be a hindrance to this relationship as a whole. This is card number 12, breaking down to a three. So you guys may be seeing three, three, three. Someone Either you or your person reverse the roles as need be needs to become more financially disciplined because it's putting a strain on this connection. And also card number 85, follow your dreams. So your person is being urged to follow their dreams. Um, there is something that they have set um, for themselves that they've been wishing and hoping for with regard to their life path. And Spirit is saying it's going to be very important that they are... Um, focusing on what their dream is and that they are definitely putting in effort to follow it. Now, here's the thing. Them following their dream may also be a hindrance to this connection because it may lead them in a path that they didn't necessarily expect and that this relationship may not be able to go down. So that may be a hindrance to this connection as well. And at the bottom of the deck, card number five, change. So there's going to be a change happening in this connection between you and this person. And it very well may be happening because this person is following a dream that they've had set for themselves. But Spirit is saying effort can be put into this situation in order to make um, the situation work for you guys. And financial discipline is going to be needed. Show me the thoughts and feelings of Taurus with regard to this connection. How is Taurus, what is their thoughts and their feelings? Wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection. So you feel like this is a soul connection. You feel like the person that you're watching this reading for is the person that you want to spend um, an eternity with. It says eternal love. So you feel like this is your life partner. You feel like this is the person that compliments you both in your good and your bad, and that you guys can make a very solid, powerful couple. I think both of you, from what I'm seeing here, um, may be uh, people that are pursuing high levels of careers or may already be in them and you guys are doing well for yourself. And I think someone is now looking at pursuing a higher level in their career and it may be putting a hindrance on this connection. Show me more about how Taurus is feeling about this connection. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, 
epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Yeah, and I think uh, there's a transformation happening, a shift in this dynamic with the pursuit of someone wanting to have more. Um, someone is wanting to elevate not only themselves, but this relationship. And I feel like it was a shock um, that there are a lot of things changing in this dynamic. Things that you guys may be ready for, things that you guys feel that you're not ready for. And I think someone is taking a chance on trying to move this situation into another direction when the other person may not be so ready. Um, show me more on how Taurus is feeling. Paradise, happiness, enjoy, uh, expansion, joy, playfulness, and oneness, enjoying each other. So you see this person as a person that brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of desire. You feel like you have met the partner that you've been seeking and that this partner and that you work really, really well together. So we're going to see what this change may be um, in this connection. Show me how is Taurus's person feeling with regard to this connection. Show me how Taurus's person is feeling. Separation. They're feeling sad, missing you, thinking about you and yearning. Um, unsure of what the future looks like for you guys. So there may have been a change that happened that really put this situation in a tailspin. And I'm looking at this card that's on the top that's coming out next as addiction. Someone may be very obsessed with the idea of obtaining financial um, abundance. And they're so addicted to a point that they're focusing only on them, their work, and what they want to achieve financially. And they're missing out on this connection and the love and the partnership that you guys were trying to build. And I think you feel this person is pulling away um, in pursuit of what they are looking for and that it no longer feels like a partnership, that it feels like um, this person is trying to uh, pretty much move away from this connection, that they're not um, involving you in decisions. They're not um, talking to you about the future of this connection and they're just pretty much moving in silence and it's leaving you to a point that you're not sure of where this connection is going or if it is something that is going to be able to go the distance because you feel like uh, little by little the, a wedge is being drawn between you and this person. Um, this person says they have unconditional love for you, um, that they do care about this connection and that this is something that they truly want. And at the bottom of the deck, runner in a codependent relationship, fear and operating and listening to their ego. Exactly. So spirit is saying this is going to have to change because this person is definitely listening to their ego in pursuit of their career and financial abundance and they're losing sight as i just stated of this connection this partnership which may have caused a separation between you and this person and that's because they act like they're addicted to money um and spirit is saying they need financial discipline because the only thing that this person worries about is money and that is not going to be a solid foundation that you can build a relationship on. If you're going to always pursue money, then you're going to lose the partnership that you have because you're not putting into this connection um, what this connection needs to stay alive. And that's love and that's compassion and that's working to get together to build a solid foundation. Show me the energy with the tarot of Taurus with regard to this connection. Show me and please reverse the roles as need be, Taurus. This may be you who is in pursuit of money and career and maybe losing sight of your connection or it could be your person. Just reverse the roles as you see fit. Show me um, how Taurus is feeling about this connection. Show me what the tarot. Nine of Swords is causing you a lot of anxiety um, and confusion because you're like, I don't know where we stand on this situation. It's keeping you up at night. You're like, is this going in the right direction? Am I about to lose my person? Are they feeling that, you know, financial gain is the most important aspect? Um, I really don't care anything about it. I care more about the love and the partnership and working together to build a solid relationship. They're focusing on their addiction to money and fame and notoriety. And it's just driving you into a mental conflict. Uh, Six of Swords. 
you know what? The Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords also came out in the Aries reading. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Aries. And it looks like because of this mental conflict, even though you are happy with this person and you feel that this person is your partner for life, you're saying, I need to move forward from this because it is causing me too much stress, too much anxiety. I don't know where I stand. My person's not talking to me. They're not opening up. They're not sharing with me what's happening with us. They're not even letting me know what um, direction they're uh, taking in their career. They don't tell me about their finances. They're keeping everything hidden. And I just feel like I'm in the dark. Um, show me over here what Taurus this person is going through, how they're feeling about this connection. Show me, Spirit. The Queen of Swords. This person is saying that they're standing in their truth um, about what they want. They're saying they're saying solid. And they're pretty much saying if you cannot deal with the direction that they're moving in as the Queen of Swords, um, which is their truth, then they're willing to cut this situation out and end it and move forward without this connection. Um, also, the world card, exactly. This is Capricorn energy, but it can also be Leo, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy. So it looks like this person is saying, if I have to remove myself or separate with the separation card from this situation to continue to feed my addiction towards money, notoriety, and fame. Although I love Taurus, that's what I'll do because that's what's most important to me at this time. Um, show me how, um, no, show me, let me see, what do I need on this spirit? Show me how you are seeing this connection with this person. Show me how Taurus is seeing this connection with this person. Show me spirit. The Ten of Pentacles. You're saying we already have it all. We both have really decent, solid jobs. Why can't this person just be happy with where we are right now? Um, I think that we're living a good life. I think that together we can build something solid. And I think where we are is where we need to be. And you don't feel that, no, we can't grow, but you feel like we need to grow together to build this financial um, stability and abundance. Show me more. The Ace of Swords, you have clarity about this situation. The truth has been revealed to you that this person is out here um, pursuing uh, finances more so than this connection. And I think you're you're making a decision with the Six of Swords to move forward because you say, I can't compete with money. I can't compete with notoriety. I can't force this person to see me in this connection and be the partner that I need them to be. Um, also, the Nine of Pentacles. Yep, you have separated yourself and you are standing strong with the Nine of Pentacles saying, I'm abundant already on my own. I know my worth. I know my value. And I'm not going to allow this person to treat me as an option when it comes to their career and their finances. I am able to take care of myself. I'm able to stand on my own two feet. And if I have to do that and move forward, I will do that and I will seek my Ten of Pentacles somewhere else. Um, show me um, Taurus's person's energy with regards to this connection. Show me. The Emperor. Ooh. Okay, so they're taking a very strong stance. This is Aries energy. Um, the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But the Emperor is someone who's stoic. This could be a person who says you're going to play by my rules or you don't get to play at all. This person is taking a solid stance in this connection and pretty much saying, well, if you don't like the way that this is going, then we can end it. If if you don't agree with how I'm doing things, then don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. We can end this situation. Show me more. The two of swords. Yeah, they're standing, um, making a decision to say, you know what? If it doesn't work for you, then we can we can, we can we can close this out. We can close it out. So they're sitting here with this blindfold on, not seeing the truth about this connection, not understanding they're about to lose someone very valuable due to the fact that they're chasing something that is very unhealthy. And Spirit is saying change needs to happen because um, this is becoming a very toxic situation because you have a person over here who's addicted to money and notoriety and fame, and that's not going to be a way to birth 
a relationship. Also, the Knight of Cups. It looks like this person wants to come in and express to you how they feel emotionally because they feel that you are pulling away and that you are now trying to become single and one with yourself and not necessarily focusing on the situation with them. Um, you felt like this person ran from this situation. They were in their ego and that they wanted to control the narrative. And you said, I, I, I'm not going to be able to let this person do that. I want them. I want to love them. I want to be in a partnership with them. I know this is my person and I'm happy with them, but not in the energy the toxic energy that they're in right now. Show me the mutual energy between the two spirit. Show me the mutual energy between Taurus and their person. The four of pentacles. Both of you guys are still holding on to this connection. The knight of pentacles. But you guys are moving slow towards each other. Um, and then the four of wands. You both want this house, family, this victory, this celebration. So it looks like um, you guys are going to have to figure out how to maneuver this change, how to bring this situation together where this person is not necessarily so addicted to winning when it comes to finances and career. And you have to decide whether or not you're going to be willing to stay in this situation and allow this person to fix it. But it looks like you have decided to move forward. Show me, um, Spirit, what outcome does Taurus want to see in this connection? What outcome does Taurus want to see in this connection with this person? The Devil card, the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Um, so basically what you're saying is that this person is too toxic. You're saying this person is addicted to what looks good on the outside um, and not necessarily the quality of of the relationship or the situation this per you're saying this person is too worried about how other people see them versus who they truly are and you're saying you're completely heartbroken and devastated by it so you're feeling like this situation is one that can't be fixed because this person is not willing to put in the work to do it that you feel like they're operating out of too much of a toxic energy and too much passion um, and excitement versus love and affection show me how Taurus's person is feeling and what they are wanting out of this connection The Five of Cups, the Hangman, and the Moon. So we have the Five of Cups, the Hangman, and the Moon. This is Virgo energy on the Hangman, Pisces energy on the Moon card. And then over here, we have Capricorn energy with the Devil. But basically what this person is saying with the Five of Cups is that they're saddened by this situation. And they're trying to gain enlightenment about this situation. Because there's a lot of things that they're not clear about with this Moon card. They're not sure if they want to continue to move forward and pursue um, this desire and this addictive behavior with their career and finances or if they want to come and try to work the situation out but it looks like mutually you guys really want this connection at the bottom of the deck i have the ace of wands so it looks like you guys are going to have a passionate new beginning and the nine of wands beneath it that's saying you guys are not going to give up on this situation although it looks like all have been lost in this uh, connection it Spirit is saying that a change can definitely happen and you guys can turn this situation around, but it is going to require that you guys put in a lot of work and that you operate from a place of love and not necessarily from the ego. So Taurus, this is what I have for you guys on the you versus them. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I upload another video. If you are watching this, um, and you're looking for a personal read, you want to look in the comment section or the link in the bio, depending on what social media platform you're watching this reading on, please do so. Take care, guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.